This is MJ and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the center single crochet stitch or it's also known as the waistcoat stitch. So here I've worked up this piece with worsted weight yarn, a six millimeter hook, but for the tutorial I'm going to show you with super bulky weight yarn and a nine millimeter hook so it's easier for you to see. So I'm using Sugarbush Yarns Chill and it's a super bulky weight six yarn. So let's begin by chaining an odd number of stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now, if you haven't learned yet how to hold the yarn and chain, you can go watch our beginner tutorials on that but this video is going to assume you know how to crochet and how to do your regular single crochet stitch so now we're going to work back in the second chain from the hook so there's the first and the second chain we're going to do a regular single crochet and we're going to work regular single crochet stitches all the way across our chain so that we have 10 single crochet stitches. So I've worked all the way across. Now we're going to turn and chain one. Now let's examine our stitch. If we're doing a regular single crochet, we would go through the stitch up here. Now to do a center single crochet, we're working down into the post of the stitch. See how you can see these little loops almost making a V? We want to work down into them. So go down, push your hook through, turning over, pulling up a loop, and pull through two. Go down. And sometimes you need to go up a hook size so that your stitches are loose enough to work into. Always the first row can be the most difficult. Now I've shown you how to work this stitch with my basket tutorial. But for the basket tutorial I have on my channel, it, we're working in the round. This I'm going to show you how to work in rows. So just keep pushing through down through the V of the post all the way along your row. worked across nine and now we need to single crochet a regular single crochet in the end here for our tenth stitch and now turn and chain one we're gonna do the same thing you need to find that V of the stitch and work down through it And if you're finding that it's too hard to get into them, then you want to go up a hook size. And this is going to make a really, really thick um, fabric when you're finished. Like really, really thick and thermal. So that's why it works well for baskets because it, they will, it will stand right up because it ends up being so thick. And even if we take a look at the work, even the worsted comes out very uh, thick. So 
So you're working a single crochet. It's just we're working into a different space than you normally would work into. So you go down, but still make your single crochet as you normally would. And at the end, we'll need to go into the end stitch here, making a regular single crochet to finish it off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see how it's looking. We'll turn and chain one. And as I've worked now, it's getting easier and easier to work into these, and I'm just making sure that I'm not pulling the stitch tight, that I'm just keeping it nice and loose. And it's really easy to see with bulky yarn. I find sometimes um, with the worsted weight, I just have to be really careful that I'm getting directly in the center of that V shape right here. And this is how you can work the center single crochet in rows. Okay, so I wanted to show you how this looks. I've worked up 11 rows in total. You can see they kind of go a little off to an angle, the stitches, but they look really nice. Uh, the same on both sides. A nice thick thermal stitch and it has a really great stitch pattern. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel.